Hi everyone, welcome to another video. It's going to be an exciting one this, as you can hear behind me. I'm at Lydon Hill. If you saw my last video, you'll know what I'm talking about. It's not raining. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about when I say it's not raining. DSLR, so that I can take photographs of a moving traffic, traffic, racing cars, as they go around the um, circuit. I will be in shutter priority. I will be working between a 60th and 125th of a second and I'm having ISO on auto. Pan with the vehicles and capture them in motion. Should be good. I'm then going to the paddocks. So that's going to be section two. I don't know, it's going to be a long day whether I split these into two videos, but nonetheless, I'm recording both today. Usual setup, GoPro to capture whatever I'm filming or taking pictures of with the Sony Cybershot. So I'm going to go over to the paddock, capture the, um, mechanics doing their thing you know fixing cars and all that kind of stuff so yeah dslr for the racing sunny cyber shop for the street photography element stick with it it's going to be good in the meantime the du chevaux citroen du chevaux racing around have this footage and then we'll get started dcvs which we've seen out in practice this morning they'll be back out for qualifying in a few moments time we're about to start qualifying for Lidden Hill Touring Car Class, which is a grid including a couple of Brannycross drivers and touring car exponents. So the two CVs and the Lidden Hill Touring Cars are our main racing today. Hope you enjoy the classic car display at the top of the paddock and around the circuit. Over 300 classic cars on display today. So welcome to Lidden Hill and we'll be back with you in a short while for the start of qualifying for the Lidden Hill Motorsport Club Classic Touring Cars. So as the voiceover said, this is um, kind of du chevaux time. So the um, 2CV Racing Club are hosting the Classics on the Hill, or Historics on the Hill, but there are a few touring cars. So um, I'll probably get some of them on the racetrack, but let's do the street photography section, see if we can get some good shots. Switching over to the GoPro. So I'm going to go into shutter priority, as I always do for street photography, and I'm going to set my speed. It's from the last video I did, 125th of a second, auto ISO. I can get as close as I need to, or I can um, stand far back and just take shots as I need to. But first of all, I'll take the self-timer off because I seem to have it on um, two-second timer. And I don't need two-second timer because I need to take the shot whenever, whenever I spy something fancy like that. Street photography, I love it. That's more fun. So if we could see some guys fixing things, that would work, wouldn't it? Check out the little eyes. Okay. 
get shots of mechanics fixing things. Always makes for a good shot. I need their face, of course. Standing amongst the crowds. They do actually have the um, classic cars up on the hill. And it's nice having the zoom, you see. If your name's not down, you're not coming in. Let me check if you're in the book. Some shots of people eating. I know it's supposed to be an all-day event, but I kind of got here early. It's kind of candid, isn't it? Although I'm waiting for them to pose for me. take a picture but the guy was in the way and I want a picture of her taking a picture I think it has to be a combination of three things today so it will be the street um, photography at the paddocks it will be cars going around the racetrack but let's look at this static display take a walk up and down so we've got the Alfa Romeo's owners club which don't really appeal to me well they're lovely lovely cars but they're not classics are they but then we start the MGs so I'm just going to walk up and down 
remember the orange ones because my uncle had an orange one in GB. August 74 says the um, tax disc. <laughs> Here, 1500 midgets. Oh, look at that! What a lovely color. I do actually like these. I know that they were kind of trying to bring the MG mark back before the whole thing collapsed, but it was a modernization of the MGB, wasn't it? I think it's lovely. nice one lovely looking car right let's go down the other side we've got a whole bunch of minis and old fords let's see what we got another mgb ford cortina you just don't see many of them on the roads anymore do you sierra cosworth or is it an xr4 we'll only know if we go on the back won't we Worth indeed. Capri 2 litre gear. Apparently, these were dogs to drive. Never drove one. But they do look lovely. A couple of minis and a couple more minis. What's looking caddy? Honda, is that a <laughs> tiny thing? K plate, 71 maybe? A roller, a couple of rollers. Look at these Daimlers. A bit too um, funky in the design for my taste. I think I'm more into the standard English because these are the things that I saw when I was growing up on the streets. Of course, I saw all of these as well. E types. Gangster mobile. <laughs> Watch out, lads. There's the Rosas. <laughs> there's, um, there's another row of cars, so I'm going to head up there, see what else they've got. And when they say another row, it seems like this whole top field is filled with classic cars. I don't think I'm going to. Um, film everything because you'll be bored out of your wits won't you when you want to see photography and I'm walking around looking at all the um, old cars I might just go around with the DSLR and take some shots and post them on Instagram so head on over to Tudor underscore Smith underscore photography on Instagram and you'll get a whole bunch of images of cars that's the agenda for the year we're now in the 23rd of June Historics on the hill. I might come back in July for the legends, custom cup, Lords of Lydum, and fireworks displays. But I am disappointed. I thought there were going to be more classic cars racing. There are, I think, five of the, what are they called? I forget what he mentioned, the rally cars. But otherwise, it's just these Citroen 2 CVs racing around, which are not inspiring me at all. However, I'm going to drive around to the Devil's Elbow, which is just over there, because if I can just get on the bend, I'll get at least a couple of shots of the two CVs. Because if that's all that's racing, at least I can demonstrate panning with the vehicle and using shuttle priority, which you've probably seen in all my other motor racing videos. Hey-ho, let's get in the car and drive around there. It's a funny thing, I should potentially set myself up for the worst case scenario or set myself up for the fall had some great intentions of capturing some you know classic cars racing around and there's just nothing happening I'll tell you what i'll take you for a little drive around the back of lyddon hill this is the camp area where you come if you're staying overnight I get to drive on the grass no drive with care here <laughs> any hazards <laughs> maybe kids playing football anyway we drop down the hill and then get onto the other side of the racetrack there and I'll park up but hey content for the video right <laughs>
Yeah, I'll, I'll get a couple of shots of the um, two CVs and I did take quite a lot of shots of the static display so I might just do a little gallery at the end you know If you watch my Drive With Care channel, you know that I'm whinging and moaning about the squeak in the car. And I was out with friends yesterday, we did a hill walk up at the White Cliffs. And we went in my car there and my car back, and it was just chaos. The noise was unbearable, to say a word. Here I am now, driving at Lydon Hill off, off the road, off track, call it off-road off driving. Not a, not a hint of a squeak. Anyway, that's for those of you that follow me on Drive With Care. We'll cut across. See, all the, it's not even as busy as I've seen it before. Maybe it's just the wrong event. But I'm going to park down at the del Devil's Elbow because I think it's the best place to get some pan shots. Hey, it's fun driving on the grass. <laughs> I feel like a 2CV racer. And yeah, this is Lydon Hill. You wouldn't get this at Brands Hatch, would you, or Silverstone? I've never been to either of those two places, but I wonder if the car parking is like off the beaten track and you have to walk three miles to get to the circuit. Goodwood is like that. It's very tiring when you've been on your feet all day long at Goodwood and then you've got to walk back to your car and you're in zone, I don't know, S and it starts at A. <laughs> anyway, I'm going to park down here and then we'll just set up for some shots of the two CVs. And I have a residence pass because I live locally. So I can come here anytime and not have to pay the entrance fee. Yay! Let's stop here. Let's get out and take some shots. Okay, this last section is the touring cars. The guys just announced it. I think there might be four of them. <laughs> but nonetheless, I'm going to take some photographs of them. So just a quick reminder, I'm going into shutter priority. I've got the ISO set to auto. For my focus, I'm going on AFC which is continuous server autofocus. So as I'm panning and semi-holding the button, focus will stick and track with the car. I've also got the GoPro. I'm gonna put the GoPro on the camera. So as I'm panning and taking pictures, you'll actually see the footage of the car. Yeah, it's been a weird one, this. There's not really been a lot of activity, which is odd for Lydon Hill. We'll just do some footage of the guys waiting at the chequered flag. <laughs> They're waiting patiently. What is going on over there? You can see the cars all lining up. So we've got an Escort. We've got a Stratos, I think. A Lancia Stratos. Oh, we'll see in a minute when they come out. So I'll do a bit of footage as they come out of the paddock and line up for the start and I think in principle all I'm trying to do is capture the car in motion so we're using shutter priority to give that blurred effect of the background being blurred the wheels being blurred remember that other video I did about understanding your mode dial on your camera link up there hmm come on lads I've been waiting and waiting and waiting I'm waiting, I'm waiting, I'm waiting. Here they come. Our first race of the day then at the sixth annual historic on the hill at Lydon. About to get underway and it is British Rallycross front runner Tristan Ovenden who comes down onto pole position in his Ford Escort Mark 1 RSR. Now this car was being built by Tristan's cousin Matt before he, he tragically died a couple of years ago and his family have built this car up ready to go racing this season in Matt's memory 
and the Ovenden family have put a lot of work into the 74 car which is out on track today. The first time we see Tristan in the 74 entry on his home circuit. Alongside him is another Rallycross favourite, John Cross, former European Rallycross Championship front runner. He's driving his VW powered Lancia Stratos. In row two we find Nigel Craig from Elam and the next door is Angus Ferno in his Volkswagen Golf and on the back row we find Dave Keating and Colin Rooney in his Hillman Imp. So a colourful grid of historic touring cars. We have two classes here in this category, 383 and 366. Colin Rooney and Dave Keating are both racing in the pre-66 category. All of the others are pre-83. We haven't got Bill Richards or H. Harvey here this afternoon. They pulled out of the meeting, sadly, before it began. But we do still have a decent field of local races about to go around Lydon for 20 minutes of action. The biggest question mark hangs over John Cross in number 99 because he's in a Rallycross spec last year and he doesn't think that the car will have enough fuel to complete this whole 20 minute race. Very quickly indeed and we're away with the 383 and 366 touring cars. Now there are two classes in this category and Tristan Ovenden definitely the favourite for the overall race win and the pre-83 spoils. He goes through Chessons with a comfortable margin over the rest, but the closest fight is between Angus Ferno and Dave Keating coming down into Devil's Elbow. It's Folkestone versus Western Hanger with the Folkestone based Volkswagen Golf driver of Angus Ferno keeping Western Hanger's Dave Keating at bay. The two local drivers close on circuit. They don't really need to fight because they're in different classes, but it's close between the two of them as they go through North Bend. Out front though is Tristan Ovenden in the Ford Escort RSR who leads the field through Paddock. John Cross following on in the last of Stratos, number 99. The car is rapid in a straight line to do watch John Cross in second. If the car can, can get to the end of this one while still running with fuel in the tank, it should be a threat to the front runners. 99 across in second, Nigel Craig in number 96, currently third. Now, Nigel's done more laps around it than the most in the paddock. He's regularly here at track days and test events and has had loads of experience in circuit racing from the Semtec days right through to the present day. A former Super Impreza racer, a great battle. I have to walk away. I had to come away from the sound. It was just so loud. <laughs> and there's only so many photographs of five, is it five or six cars that I can take because they're racing around now for 20 minutes and I can take a shot of the Golf going past once, past twice, past <laughs> So yeah, I've had my fill, I've been here three, uh, three hours and I've done the paddock, I've looked at the um, static display, I've posted some pictures on Instagram and I've taken some pictures of the touring cars using shuttle priority, auto ISO, 60th of a second, and I think I'm quite happy with those shots. I was on continuous shooting, so I will have easily got two or three shots of each car. It's all good stuff, isn't it? Uh, that's it. Thanks for watching. Bearing with, I'll see you in another video. Bye for now.